What's going on everyone? I got a really, really cool question here for you. Someone asked me, Ted, I have a serious question that I'm very puzzled with and I'm not able to find much information online about. How would you eat healthy, like raw or vegan, if there happens to be a crisis or a health epidemic where you currently are living or even worldwide? How would you prepare in advance just in case something like this would happen? What would you purchase in advance? What would you do if the produce at the grocery store was not available? What if the electricity goes out too, so you couldn't use frozen foods and things like that? I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Awesome. Well, I would love to give an answer to this because it's a really, really cool question. Now, I actually found myself in a crisis just like this, not recently, but back in 2001, I was actually stuck in the middle of a desert and all I had was the food in my car. Now, I planned for this, thank God, because I was going to Burning Man. So before I went to Burning Man, where there's no electricity, there's no anything. You're just stuck in the middle of a desert with a bunch of half-naked people and pounding music and a lot of drugs, which I did not partake in. But what did I do to stock up? I ended up actually living on what I call the Burning Man diet. And the Burning Man diet is really, really cool. I'll tell you what it is in a sec, but the effects of it are so awesome. So at the end of Burning Man, most people are walking around covered in dust, covered in like dirt basically, and everyone's just really, really dirty. But because I was living on the Burning Man diet, at the end, I remember it was, the, it was the fifth or sixth day, and I had three people, I kid you not, three people, not one, not two, but three people come up to me at various times throughout the day and ask me, where's the shower? And I was like, I don't know. And by the time the third person asked me, I said, why did you and two other people ask me where the shower is? What about me it says I know where a shower is? And like, oh, cause you, and she says, oh, because you look so clean. And I look down, and I'm like, well, yeah, of course I'm clean. Meanwhile, I look around, I'm like, oh yeah, everyone's covered in dust and dirt. Why is that? It's because everyone else had like oil and grease coming out of them. They were detoxing or they were just like eating greasy food, right? It comes out of your skin. But because I was eating such a clean diet, I didn't have all this dust sticking to me. I hadn't showered in five days. In fact, I'd run like an ultra marathon on day one when I was there called the Burning Man 50K. So I ate the Burning Man diet for the six days I was there and I prepared for it. I was 100% raw, raw at the time. Um, I say raw because I was having some pasteurized juice and stuff, but here's here's what I did for the Burning Man diet And this is what I would do if I was gonna prepare for a crisis Like if I knew I had like a, a couple weeks or if I had like a day to go out today If I had to go out today and buy a bunch of stuff to prepare for a crisis, I knew it was coming. This is what I would get, okay? First thing, I'd make sure I have a ton of water. Go get a ton of water because honestly you can live for 40 freaking days on just water if you got enough weight on you. If you're already like 90 pounds, okay, maybe not, but if you're like me, you're 150, 160 pounds, you can easily go 40 days on just water. Maybe not easy, but if you lay low, you chill out, you just sit down and meditate and rest a lot, you can go 40 days on just water. So that's the first and most important thing, water. I'd load up on a ton of water. The second thing I'd want to load up on is dates. And you might think that's contra counterintuitive. You're like, dates are dry, Ted. Why would you get dates <clears throat> when water is so important? Well, you can actually use the water to rehydrate the dates. And then the water that the dates have been soaking in, you can actually drink that water. It's like really, really sweet water. It's amazing, date water. So I would load up on dates and load up on water. <clears throat> That's exactly what I did at Burning Man. I had dates and, and water. Um, plus I had pasteurized apple juice. I wouldn't necessarily recommend pasteurized apple juice if you got a crisis because space is limited and you don't need apple juice. Apple juice is just a luxury. <clears throat> but sure, buy a bottle of apple juice if you want to celebrate one day when the crisis is over. Um, but yeah, water and dates, those are the two top things. Now the third thing I had with me at Burning Man, which I definitely want to have with me during a crisis, is a source of fat. Dates have no fat, no overt fats. There's like zero grams of fat in a big handful of dates. So uh, omega-3s are very helpful. So I'd go for the hemp seeds. I have a big old bulk bag of hemp seeds. Um, and with the dates, by the way, you don't want to buy the gooey dates, you want to buy the dried dates, buy the med dried medjool dates, that's, that's important. Uh, you're going to re-soak them anyway later. And if you buy the gooey fresh dates, they're going to go rancid really bad really quickly. So make sure they're dried dates. Um, and yeah, hemp seeds. Hemp seeds are awesome. So you got the water, you got the dates, you get the hemp seed. Pretty much set. All you'd be lacking now is like some serious amount of minerals. So for the minerals, I'd recommend getting some daily green boost. Go buy a bulk set up a daily green boost. You want to make sure you have like tons and tons of jars of daily green boost. If you're not sure what daily green boost is, I'll show you right now. It's 100% barley grass juice powder. This stuff is mineral loaded and it's not gonna go bad because um, it's already dried. They've juiced barley grass and then they dried it. So all you gotta do is add water to reconstitute it. Great source of all the vitamins, all the minerals, um, including crazy minerals like molybdenum and magnesium and chromium and manganese and 
zinc and vanadium and selenium and phosphorus and lithium and copper and boron, like really, really cool stuff like that. Uh, if you're curious about this, you wanna try it by the way, you can go to tedcarboost.com right now and save yourself 10% on a few bottles. So that's cool right there. Um, I take that stuff every day. So Daily Green Boost, hemp seeds. In fact, I have it all right here, it's funny. Like I have dried dates right here, dried medjool dates. I got Daily Green Boost. Like I'm, I'm prepared for a freaking crisis here, man, let's go. No, let's not go. And then I got a bulk bag of hemp seeds. This is not really bulk, but it's pretty big bags. It's like bigger than my head. Um, but I, I'd get a way bigger bag. You can buy them online for like super cheap. Just buy a massive amount. Um, so you could do that. Another thing that's kind of controversial, I mean, vegans aren't gonna like it, but something that lasts forever and never goes bad is honey. But you know what else never goes bad? Dried fruit. So if you don't wanna mess with honey, then just get a bunch of dates like I have. And dates are gonna keep you set for a while. Um, other than that, you could get canned fruit. I had canned pineapple with me as well. That was a nice treat. Um, that's pretty much it. I had the dates, I had the hemp seed, I had the canned pineapple, I had water and I had apple juice. But um, adding in that daily green boost is gonna be very big help. It helps um, keep down the acidity level, helps you stay really, really alkaline. And uh, that's really, really important. So. Yeah, that's what I would stock up on. If you don't like dates, you're crazy because dates are amazing, but you can also get prunes, you can also get apricots, you can get raisins, get a bunch of, get a variety of dried fruits if you want. And then um, if you don't like hemp seeds, heck man, there's tons of different varieties of nuts and seeds out there as well. But I think for me, hemp seeds digest the best and digest the best for a lot of people as well. Plus they have the perfect ratio of uh, omega three to sixes. So they are an awesome food. Um, that's what I recommend. You could also load up on quinoa and buckwheat and then sprout it if you're into that. I'm not into sprouting, but that would be like a really good idea if you want living foods. In fact, if a crisis was coming, I'd probably strongly consider getting a bunch of buckwheat and quinoa and other sprouts that I could sprout while the crisis is going on because I, I would miss some raw living foods. The dates are raw, but they're not living. They're just dried. But when you get the sprouting happening, get the activation happening, then that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, th th those would be my uh, tips and tricks on how to survive, at least nutritionally speaking, how to survive a crisis. Hope this answered your question. And uh, thanks for asking. It was a cool question to uh, answer. Anything else here you address? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. But of course, getting into a practice of not expending calories would be good too. Like just learning how to meditate. Um, and laying low, just resting, and getting all your thoughts out on paper like Anne Frank did when she was kind of trapped in her house. But getting in a good journaling practice and visualization practice, that'd be awesome. So yeah, that's it. Again, if you guys want a bottle of Daily Green Boost, whether it's for a crisis or not, just a daily basis, um, go to tedcarboost.com. It's T-E-D-C-A-R-R-B-O-O-S-T, -O -O -T, tedcarboost.com, and you can get 10% off on a bottle or as many bottles as you, as you like. So. Yeah, that's it. Um, you could also, you could also, I don't know how long this uh, is gonna last, this crisis, but you get some vitamin D. That's very important, you get some vitamin D because you're not getting any sunlight, right? Load up on vitamin D, buy everything bulk. You get way cheaper bulk. You could get a B12 as well, that's really important. And um, you get some ashwagandha powder. That's really important for keeping stress low. Um, and yeah, you could, you could get small amounts of, of iodine as well. Very, very small amount, you don't want to go heavy on that, but very low dose on that, just to keep in the system. And uh, yeah, those would be my recommendations for supplements and, and things like that. But A lot of water, that's like the main thing. Water, 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 and just go super low calorie and just get down to low body weight. Um, let that food last as long as you can. Because if you just eat a bunch of food right away, you're gonna go through your, 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 um, your stores. And if you're very active, you're moving around, talking a lot as well, you're gonna use up a lot of water. So lay low, don't talk too much. The less you talk, the less water you're gonna need. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, ciao, much love. See you at the Canada Vegan Fest this summer.